Thank you for turning to page 121. A little under the weather today, so I'm just going to do a short one about a very nice spell from Unearthed Arcana, Grease. It's a first level magic user spell. I'll zoom in a little bit on it. So Grease, it's an evocation, first level spell, range is 10 feet, duration's permanent, one square foot per level of caster, so at first level be one square foot. Verbal, somatic, and material components. One segment casting time and the save is special. A grease spell creates an area covered by a slippery substance of a fatty, greasy nature. Any creature stepping upon this area will have to save risk petrification or slip, skid, and fall. Of course, if a creature is aware of the area, it can possibly be avoided. The spell can be used to cause greasy coating, a greasy coating on some surface other than that underfoot, a rope, ladder, rungs, uh, weapon handle, etc. Long material, lone material objects will always be subject to such a spell use, but if a magic user is casting upon an object being wielded or employed by a creature, the creature must fail a saving throw versus spell for the grease spell to be effective. A single saving throw will negate the effects. The material component of the spell is a bit of pork rind, butter, and or greasy material. So first, it doesn't seem like much. One square foot per level, okay. That's not bad. It's, you know, a spot of a size of a floor tile in your average house, one foot by one foot. So you're thinking, okay, that's not that useful. Well, you know, as a slipping area just inside a doorway as somebody's surging in to, to attack you, yeah, it's really useful. And then when you go up in level, we'll go to our 10th level magic user friend, who I always use as my example. It's 10 foot by 10 foot. That'll fill a hallway, and you can... Uh, Cast that and then just stay on the other side. And as they charge at you, I as a DM, if the entire area is covered and they didn't know it was there, I would not give them any kind of saving throw. So the first couple of fall, walk, run into the area would fall down. Now at 10th level, you're going, oh, okay, well, you know what? Do I really need this spell at 10th level? Well, you can still really use it. Uh, greasing up a ladder or a rope somebody's using to climb up to you can be really good. Greasing up the area where a grapnel is attached to its climbing surface can be really good because suddenly the grapnel won't have any friction to hold it. It can be easily slid up and off. Any kind of uh, door handle can be greased. That can be a fun way to use it. And then the other thing we always allowed, because it says expressly in here, it creates a substance of a fatty, greasy nature, and the material components are a bit of pork, a bit of pork rind, butter, or other greasy material. We have ruled that the grease that is created is flammable. So we go back to my magic user of 10th level. He gets some creatures to come into his 10 foot by 10 foot area where the grease is, fall down because they've slipped and fallen the grease. Now they're coated in grease. He hits the area with a burning hand spell. Burning hands is worth 10 points of damage in that case. But what the heck, I like the idea of it also catching all the grease on fire and additional damage to the people that are coated in the grease. So that's one of the more devious uses for it. Another can be used if you're on a narrow ledge, you throw a grease spell down and then Either leave it and hope they don't see it on the ledge, or at need, light it on fire and keep people from following you, chasing you along the ledge. Again, if you're going up a ladder, there's nothing wrong with hitting the rungs you've already climbed, the ones below you, hit them with a the grease. And then you continue on up and the people trying to pursue you have to deal with greasy rungs they can't get a grip on. So there are many uses for the spell. I've always liked this spell. We misread it at first. Uh, it obviously says one square foot per level of caster. We read that as 10 for some reason. So for probably the first two games this was used, we had a third level MU throwing it 30 feet by 30 feet, and we're going, oh my gosh, what a ridiculously powerful spell. And then one of us read the book and went, hey guys, <laughs> it's not 30 by 30, it's 3 by 3. So it's a spell that really is useful. I like it even higher levels. My higher level mages, uh, make a storm crow is my highest. I think he's 18th. Uh, he is, he always carries a grease spell. He's always got one at hand. Also with a burning hand spell, because why not? So it's just a uh, couple of ideas on the grease spell. As I said, I'm a little under the weather today, so I'm going to do just a short one. Hopefully I'll be feeling better, and uh, I'll see you guys next time on page 121.